Good. So stream has started. By win. I'm super touch. And wait. Well, hello, Shotokan Karate family. Welcome to this live class. We are on Zoom and on YouTube today. Uh, I'm really excited to work with you today. What are we working on? We're working on Mawate, the turn. Mawate, the turn. And we're going to play around with this stuff and add some stuff. I hope that we'll have tired legs after this in about 30 minutes or so. First of all, of course, a quick warm up. Let's just bounce around. You know, I like to bounce around the beginning to warm up my calves. Now, include your hips. No karate with good hip rotation here, of course. Feel the belt swing from side to side. Really over-exaggerate here. If you're a skier, like old school skier, then you know this is the way in the 70s we used to ski down the slopes and a bit higher. And a bit lower, go to your knees but remain turning your hips. You have to adjust. Yes, I see. You have to adjust your movement at home here. So people on the Zoom, I can see you. Um, you can also hear you on the, on the microphone here on my ear pads. If you have any questions, just don't hesitate to interrupt me. People on the YouTube, I, of course I can't hear or see you. You can ask in the chat, um, probably at the end. I will have some time to answer. Ten high jump, sitch, knee, sun, chi, go, rock, sitch, hatch, cue, two, stand still. Couple of deep breaths. Very nice. Good. Let's talk about or think about our knees. Some knee rolls. Make sure you have a nice, relaxed and straight back here when you warm up your knee joints. Don't forget to breathe here and switch direction. People joining in for the Zoom class, no big deal, we're just in the warm up. Join us here. We did some jumping around and some knee warm up. Now knee out. So for balance, maybe we put out our hands to the side and down again, knee out. And with this rolling motion, we warm up and flex our hip joints. And knee in with the right knee. So we go up, out, and then towards the center in. Make sure you are able to lift your knee a bit higher than your belt and switch to the other side. Now my left knee is doing, my left leg is doing the work up or above the belt exactly. If you want, you can make this uh, to a balance exercise. There are different levels. Let go of your arms and feel how the other leg that's standing, the foot that's standing on the ground has to do more work. If you want, you can stay up from the ground with your foot all the time. Now knee in, so we go out, up, and turn towards inside. And three more, each knee, sun. Good, shake it out. Now hands on your hips, hip body rolls. Slowly coming to our torso, upper body. And switch direction. If you feel some kink somewhere, then maybe relax and slow down. See how you can work out these tensions, maybe in your hips and in your back. Good, front, back. And the rest of the body stays relaxed. And from this slowly we go to hamstring stretch. So we reach down with our arms, our hands towards the ground. 
but still we flex our hips, our pelvis in front, the buttocks to the back. And don't do a static stretch here, but stay dynamic. I like to do the dynamic stretches in the beginning of my training. We can add a couple of iterations going down, going deeper down every time, stretching our hamstrings here. And the last time, and from this, we move ahead, same motion, but only uh, with our head. We warm up our neck, doing the yes motion. Three more, each, and knee, and sun. Now move to a no motion. From left to right and back, each, knee, sun. Arm swings. And turn around. Very nice. Embrace yourself. Hug yourself. And to really become warm here, quick move super dash. And jumping jacks. Hitch. Knee. Done. After 30, we just stand still. Super Dutch, wait for everybody on the Zoom class to be finished. And without, like fixing your gi, we move ahead into Tsenko to Dutch. Left Tsenko to Dutch front, sta front stance and flex our hips a bit. Showman, hand me. And stay in showman. Move ahead. Right ten to Dutch. Same thing here. Flex your hips a bit. Make sure your front knee stays stable here. Yes. Good. And stay in showman. Now we do Mavate. What we do is with our left, our left leg, we take it back, move around. And step out with our left again. Exactly. So left senko to dutch. And another step, right senko to dutch. Now another mavate, but a big mavate with our right. We move to the other side. So we have a right senko to dutch and come back again. Good, pretty complex movement that we're doing here. Let's quickly, or take our time actually, to move into this movement, get, get, your, stay, get, uh, get ready for this movement so that everybody is okay. Make sure you have some space in front and behind of you. We start with our left, hands on your hips to the sides, left and kutz dutch, stepping forward, stepping through right and kutz dutch. Now with our left we do mavate, counterclockwise. Exactly, so this is the small mavate, no big turn here. And then the step. And now the big mavate with the right leg, we go back. So it's a, a, um, it's a clockwise turn. And back again. Exactly, we're getting there. Let's do it again. Left. Step through. Small mavate. So with the left leg, we move again out, counterclockwise. Yes, exactly. Right hand to touch, step through. Big Mavate. With the right leg, we move back. And come back to Shizentai. Good. So for the ones at home, there are some high level, uh, high graded black belts, or almost black belts in the class. If you want, you can switch around so that you lose your orientation. And left. And step through. And mavate. Small mavate. Step through. And big mavate. Shisentai. So it's always the same. Left, right, mavate. 
One step, two step, big mawate, and come back. Good. Give me thumbs up. Can you manage at home? I see many thumbs. Good. Let's add some speed here. Again, the torso is relaxed. Deep in-breath. This is a little mawate combination to use um, to, to get our brains accustomed to new ways of training mawate. And each left and right tenkutsu dutch, small mabate, mabate sho, right tenkutsu dutch. Um, <laughs> I lost track of it, sorry. <laughs> okay, again, left and right and small mabate and step and big mabate and shisentai. Same thing again, let's do it five times in a row. And each, find your own rhythm, find your own speed. Make sure you memorize this. So at the end, you should be more or less at the same space that you started. Knee. And sun. Small mawate, step, big mawate, and back. And yun, each, sun, shi, go, and rock. And one more, each, knee, sun, shi, go, and rock. Very nice. Let me quickly see how you do at home and Hajime! Very nice, very nice. You have it inside of your brains now. Now let's look at how we look. Hitch, knee. First we look, then we turn. First we look, then we turn. Okay, let's do that again. Hajime. <clears throat> yes, really over exaggerate your head movement at home. Good, let's do it once more. Find your speed, find your energy. Hitch. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go. Ah. And other movement once again. Hitch. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go! And back. Good. Shake it out. So we've done some leg work. We're continuing with this movement. But first, you know, I like to get on the ground. <laughs> and do some push-ups. And ready. Everybody ready? I'll wait for you. And Hajime. Find your own number. Slowly get up after you finished your push ups. Very nice, very nice. Good. So we've also warmed up our chest muscles a bit. Now, the only thing that's really missing is the core here in the warm up phase. But let's do a really core engagement, doing this again. Once, only with the core, or actually no torso involvement here. From Shisentai, first, Musubadachi, Ray. Concentrate, focus, and Hajime. Focus on your core. <laughs> And once from the other side, pitch. Good, Tanden was used. Now we are, of course, adding some upper body techniques. Let's first add Gedambarai. Gedambarai. So, what are we doing? Ray. Yoi, let me show you from the front this time. 
We move out, get on the Get on the Marate, get on the Get on the Big, get on the And come back. Very nice, very nice. Good. Do the same thing again, three times. Find your own rhythm, find your own speed. Hitch! Knee! And sun! Let me show, uh, let, you, let you show me how you do at home and Hajime! Very nice. One thing you could look at at home would be always turning to Shomen. Look at my hips. Shomen. Move out. Han me. Shomen. Han me. Shomen. Han me. Showman, hum me. Showman, hum me. And back again. So on the preparation phase, we are facing our imaginary opponent. Even if you do this fast, we can do this. It helps you control your hip and gain energy from it and use this as a way of more flexibility. Good. Let's do it again. Focus on showman, hum me. And that's your itch. Knee. Sun. And go. And again. Hitch. Knee. Sun. Chi. And yabe. Good. Showman, hand me. You know what's coming. Let's add a Gyakutsuki. Let's do this slowly. Not everybody is a high ranking belt here in this Zoom class. And also probably on YouTube. Focus for a moment and let's take away, it, take out the speed. We're going to do get on Brai, Yakutsuki. And Hachime slowly. Itch. Knee. Now the small Mawate. Mawate show. Yon. Now the big Mawate. Mawate die. And Come back. Same thing again. Hitch. Knee. Small malate. Step through. Big malate. And come back. And stay focused at the end. Good. Let's add some energy. With this, I do it once together with you, and then you show me what you've learned up to now and present yourself to me. This is the combination with Kedambarai Gakotsuki. And Hajime! Now your turn. Hajime! Wow, very nice. Very nice. There are only slight things I could correct here. That's very good. That's really good. It's really good what you show here. Um, two little things that you can continue working on, but they're always perfect almost perfect in all videos that I've seen, like the synchronicity. So ideally, we have to get on Barai when at the same time that we, we land to get on Barai at the same time as we um, land the foot and then add the Gakutsuki. <coughs> okay? And I actually didn't do it really nicely right now because the preparation phase also needs to fast, needs to be fast. <coughs> Good. Let's do that. And another slight little thing. There was one video 
um, from the mister in the garage with the blue belt. Um, maybe focus on your core a bit. I have the impression that when you step, your core is not really engaged too far, so you step first like this. There's this wobbling, see? A little bit of that. So if you add and um, focus on your core, maybe you forget the sequence or so, no big deal. Focus on your core so that your upper body stays, stays um, stable while you step around. Eh? Good? Let's try this. Perfect. I'm going to switch around. One last time, let's do a perfect iteration. Perfect show for this one. And ready? And Hajime! <coughs> Good. Shake it out for a second. I'm going to talk to you about what we are using this for, but still my, my core is not warm enough. Let's go on the ground for some sit-ups. If you're on the grass, I see some people on the grass, <laughs> maybe put something on the ground or do some other way of sit-ups. And Hajime, each. And another one. After the last one, quickly get up as quick as you can and move around your hips. Also stretching your belly muscles. We want to stay active here. Good. What are we using this Mabate for? If you train Shotokan Karate Japanese version, as we all do, we are used to these line drills. Let's do a line drill. Make sure you have three or four steps space in front of you. Array. Let's step in, uh, let's do knee tsuki. Uh, stepping to Gyakutsuki with our left, starting with Ketambarai. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Knee tsuki, eh? Hajime! <coughs> now, what are we doing here? Small mawate. Here, my left leg steps back out into Kedambarai. And another Nitsuki round. Hitch! And another small Mawate. Very nice. So, this is a small Mawate. We don't turn around a lot. Um, let's look at the big Mawate. Where are we using the big Mawate? Any ideas? Give me your thumbs or just tell me. You can all unmute yourself and just talk. With the kicking, probably. I was thinking about a specific kata that probably all of you know. Taikyoku Shodan, Haiyan Shodan. Let's do the first couple of moves of Haiyan Shodan. Make sure you have space to the left and the right. This is Haiyan Shodan, first couple of moves. And Hajime! Now the big mate! See? And Yame. Did you recognize it? So we have the small, the show mate, and we have the dai, mate dai. Show and dai actually the same for the for the for the higher belts among you. Basai dai, basai show, two katas. Similar katas but different name because one is smaller or less energetic. Different interpretation of the sho and dai. And same for kanku, sho and kanku dai. And I think also some others. Good. Uh, let's add something to our drill. So we have kedambarai, yakutsuki. Any ideas? Tell me what you want to add. For tec what technique do you want to add? Just tell me or show me. A kick. Okay. Let's add a kick to this. Good. Show you from the front. 
you can follow me. We start again with the left, get on barai, and then Yakutsuki. Hajime ich! <coughs> then, instead of just walking through, we kick with our rear leg. Maigri keage. <coughs> yes, very nice. Small mawate. Can we add the kick here? We can. <coughs> and not next step, kick. <coughs> and the big mawate. <laughs> and back. Quite a task that you give us here at home. Let me show you from the side again. So the aim is to do a kick before we do the get on barai. So from, actually we could do it from, from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. Shizentai. Itch. <laughs> and kick. <laughs> Small mamate, first kick. Step through. And this one is the nasty one. We have to transfer our weight. And kick at the same time. So that's a good, good way of training. That's pretty high standard here. Let's try again. Don't wait for me, find your own rhythm at home. Um, just do it, no break in between. Quick focus here. Let's do it five times on your own with this kick. And Hajime. Very nice. Show me one iteration of this combination at home. And Hajime! Yes, very nice. Some of you actually did what I wanted to do next. Uh, because this is pretty complicated. Add a Maigeri Keage each time. So let's spice this up and do um, some of you actually change it to depending, depending on where you are. Is it a front or a side kick or a back kick even? But for this, uh, I would like to do you uh, to, to show you the Mikatsuki Geri. Because Mikatsuki Geri, you remember Mikatsuki Geri, the cleverest kick. That's the Soto Mikatsuki Geri coming from in. Having this like a little roof. Like for example, if somebody has a gun and you just kick the gun out of his hand or even higher like to the side of the head. The cool thing about Mikatsuki Geri here is that um, the, the weight distribution is very easy for this combination. Let's try Mikatsuki Geri first. This time, slowly Mikatsuki Geri get on barai. And Gyakutsuki, we start with Mikatsuki Geri. Left, reach, and knee, sun, she, and go. For the ones who are already in a purple belt, Mikatsuki Gary, we have two of those at the GMU program, one from the outside, one from the inside. The last one, Probably easiest to do from the inside, so the Uchi Mikatsuki Geri. 
Let's try again very slowly. Learn something new here today with me. And Hajime! Ich! Ni! San! Da! Da! Very nice. Does that work at home? Yes. There's a question, yes? Unmute yourself. Yeah. Yes, you're right. For the second kick, an Uchi Mikazuki Gary is also nicer. Just found out now. So feel free, do some, uh, some freestyle kicking at home. We're, we're going to close this, uh, this uh, session, this class pretty soon. But first, of course, let's get back our focus, our intent by standing in Shisentai, quickly closing our eyes and do a focus and recharge. So we breathe, we breathe in. And feel the energy coming into the body. Open our eyes again. And right. Feel how this has calmed ourselves. Now let's do five more of those Mikatsuki Geris as a highlight of the high note of this class towards the end. Find your own speed, find your own rhythms if you want. Add some other kicks, just feel free. Make sure you try to stay in a nice coordinated technique. And re. And Hajime! Five times each! Last one for me at home. I try to do the best one here. Give it everything. Stay focused. Hajime! <laughs> Very nice. Everybody at home, you did a great job and I want to congratulate you. And you have earned the next round of sit-ups and Hajime. What's there to laugh? After you have finished your sit-ups, you know it's coming on the ground. 
And let's do a round of push-ups. Are buddy ready? <laughs> You're still laughing, that is great. After the class, you can do some more. And touch me. If you have finished your sit-ups and your push-ups, let's stretch your arms. Shoulders, watch your breath. Deep breathing into your belly. And another child, I suppose it's called the happy child. We take our feet inside our knees and roll around and just have fun with your feet. And while we do this rolling around on our backs, we also apply some pressure to important pressure points on our back. Happy child. <sighs> Roll around to the side. Whatever your heart, your body, or your soul actually require at the moment. Be a happy child. <sighs> With your feet in your hands. At the end, if you can, let's come back to stretching your hamstrings on the ground still with your hands in your, with your feet in your hands, or just touch your knees, depending on how far you can go, how flexible you are. And one last stretch, butterfly stretch. Put your feet together on the ground. Make sure you have an upright posture, straight back. Push your knees down and feel how the adductors are stretched, the insides of your upper leg. Good, yummy. Move to scissor stance. Resist the urge of straightening your gi. Just stand here with me or sit here with me. And uh, same to me, right? That's it. On your feet. And right. Thank you, Shotokan Card family, for joining me here in this little live class. We have people on YouTube, we have people on Zoom. People on Zoom, uh, the GMAU people stay in the Zoom class. Couple of minutes, we have a quick chat. And if you have time, we add another class where we do the same, but different. People on YouTube, it was great having you here. See you next time, uh, sometime, or if you want to join us in your regular live classes, join the GMAU. Us. Stay safe. Bye-bye.